Hi everybody, Sarah, Weight Watcher Cape Cod Woman on YouTube and on Facebook. It is Pearls of Wisdom and Food. And this is Freddie who is just bound and determined to get his way. So anyway, um, I woke up this morning and I read somebody's comments in one of my um, uh, videos. And in it she said that she went and bought a Stonyfield blended yogurt with quinoa and something something else and it had 20 grams of sugar so I wrote down on a post-it who I'm mad at <laughs> with Stonyfield and I had decided that I was going to come back and find out nutrition and all this other kind of stuff and um, do a video on Stonyfield alone but then I um, I thought of the other places and you know, I just have to say that if you're still eating a yogurt that is sweetened with either alternative sugars, sugar substitutes, or plain old white table sugar, please consider going to unsweetened yogurt, full fat. I mean, I'm full fat, and I know a lot of you are resisting this, but um, the crap in these yogurts is appalling. And one of the things that I wrote back to her is that um, somehow the front of the stony field has duped us into thinking it's this wonderful organic, that they want to help us, that this will help us lose weight. Well, guess what? They are for profit. You know, even though they do the blah, blah, this is a company that has a bottom line. And the bottom line is your dollar in their wallet. And... You know, if you if you took the time to read the back instead of doing this, you know, back when yeah, I'm 65, and back when I was growing up, back in the 50s and 60s, my mother would buy name brand products. She was an ivory girl, ivory dish soap, and nothing could sway her. She was a Brillo person. She would never buy SOS, and she would buy Comet. She would never buy Ajax, and it's just kind of funny that the older you get, the more you think about, um, you know, where you came from and how you um, adopted practices that you never even question, that you just continue to do. And um, also, she was also Pepperidge Farm, never Arnold. <laughs> it's just so funny. So anyway, um, so I was thinking about the stony field and how she went in and she probably read the label and it looked like a blend of quinoa and something else. And it's like, well, a chia maybe? And isn't this oh so healthy for me and it's going to be great? 20 grams of sugar. That's five teaspoons in that six ounce container. And she's going to try to give up sugar on 9-1. Um, so you know, this is not going to help her. And I told her that the Cabot's full-fat yogurt that I eat, a half a cup has two and a half grams of sugar in it. And that comes from the milk part, not from, you know, the added sugar. And and um, the, the, uh, the consistency of the yogurt makes up for the lack of sugar. And if you're going to, if you're trying to tame your sugar monster... You need to tame it with all types of sugar, even the fake sugars. The fake sugars will keep you as addicted to sugar as sugar itself. And you have to be careful because all the OSE words um, in ingredients is another form of sugar. And one day I could just read off the 50 different sugars that end in OSE just to give you the point. So... Yes, I'm mad at Stonyfield today because a lot of you have been duped. Same with Chobani. You know, I remember buying Chobani with Stevia. It was horrible. And I'm buying these little um, four packs, and I'm buying them, you know, a couple of four packs at a time because, oh, this is the answer, and it's 100, 100 calories, and it's non-fat, and it's crazy. Blah! Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, um... You know, be conscientious. Turn that label around. And if you're looking at 20 grams of sugar in a 6-ounce yogurt, you might as well take a few steps back and buy the Jello puddings or turn and face the frozen desserts and buy some, you know, 
uh, frozen ice cream or frozen yogurt. Another joke, you know, you're not saving calories. You're not getting healthier. They're still plying you with the sugar that keeps you addicted to their products. And if you're trying to give up sugar, sugar turns to fat. And I could guide you to 975 um, videos, but between sugar and wheat, that's what puts on the fat. That stuff that you can pick at your body, at your belly, at your butt, at your thighs, that comes from wheat and sugar. Fat does not make you fat, as long as it's the healthy fats. The unhealthy fats, can you tell I'm on a, rave, a full moon rave, and this is going to be a Sunday bonus. The healthy fat, the unhealthy fats are safflower, canola, vegetable oil, bad, 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 and um, anything in the plastic is not healthy for you. Some of these oils are rancid before they even hit the grocery store shelves. They start oxidizing before they leave the plant where they're manufactured. And then you buy it in a plastic bottle, and you bring it home, and you don't use it for a while. And then your kids said they want french fries or something. Make them the way that you make them, Mom. And Mom takes out the vegetable oil and makes them, and she, she thinks she's doing healthier, so she makes them sweet potato fries in rancid vegetable oil. And no, it's not going to make you sick right away. It's just harming harming your body in ways that like until you start eating healthy nutritious organic conscientious choices you're going to harm your body and the stuff that shows up is what shows up later diabetes obesity strokes heart issues all these sort of things and you, you know you pull at your body and you pull and you pull and then one day, you go in and you find you're pre-diabetic. Well, I can't be pre-diabetic. I just lost 40 pounds on Weight Watchers. Well, ma'am, you are. And it's like, this is appalling. I mean, how can I? Trust me. We're damaging our bodies with some of these food choices. The food manufacturers don't care. And um, one of the biggest food manufacturers is Philip Morris, who also owns Altria, which makes all the cigarettes. And I first learned this because I was buying some Altria stocks that were like cigarette stocks. It's like, are you kidding me? I didn't even know. So sometimes realizations of what a company is comes in the oddest ways, you know, so much for me viewing the stock market. And, um, and so look who the parent company is. Do they have your best interests at heart? You know, once you start buying local or organic or... Um, you know, even from farmer's markets, things that are made close to home, you'll start seeing, wow, not to mention the taste. You will enjoy the taste of the less processed foods than you ever thought you could. So anyway, okay, I'll stop ranting now. I've got to go pack salads for the beach. All right, so this is just, this is just a little for instance. All right. So you're buying your Toms, you think it's the best thing you can buy, you know, you're paying twice as much for your toothpaste and teeth products, and perhaps they are good for you. But look who owns them. Colgate Palm Olive. Hmm. Oh, my cat's making me crazy. All right, you buy all the Odwalla products, those juices and everything. Have you ever looked at the sugars in the Odwalla? Yeah, well, take a look. Guess who it's owned by? Coca-Cola. If you buy the Horizon Organic, which I, I raise my hand, I do buy or, um, Horizon Organic, that is owned by Dean, and I don't know enough about Dean. And then we've got Stonyfield, the one that I'm mad at. <laughs> it's owned by Dannon. And I never saw a Dannon yogurt that wasn't filled with C-R-A-P. Sorry if it's your favorite and you can't live without it. And then West Bay Natural, I don't know what that is. I've never seen it. Um, maybe I'll pull down a little bit and we can see. That's that's uh, owned by Heinz. Cascadian Farm, the um, organic cereal company, owned by General Mills. Oh, Dean Foods does the um, 
Organic Cow of Vermont, White Wave Silk Brand Soy Milk, Alta Denta, Mountain High Yogurt, and among other brands. Okay. Um, Kellogg's owns Kashi. Smucker's owns R.W. Nudson, which, um, turn those labels around when you think you're buying your kids healthy juice. Juice, you might as well just give them the soda. Here, have a Coke, because the apple juice is just as loaded with teaspoons and teaspoons of sugar. Not good. And then the Kraft brand um, owns Back to Nature. So, Westbray. Oh, Hain Celestial Group, Health Valley, Rice Dream, Soy Dream, and a slew of other brands. Okay. So, okay, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that I was mad at Stonyfield. Your homework assignment is, if you're eating regular yogurts and you think you're being healthy and it's helping you and it's like blah, 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 turn the label around. Even Activia, look at the sugars in that. They, it, you know, even if it's got the probiotics, I'm telling you, if you buy organic, full fat yogurt, you will get the probiotics that you need. If you buy raw unpasteurized cheese, you will get the probiotics that you need. Don't be duped by these big food manufacturers. They don't have your health as their bottom line. They have their, and trust me, I live on Cape Cod, the jets that go to Martha's Vineyard, the jets that go to Nantucket, <laughs> they own the